Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Luis Bartelis and for today's video we're going to be talking about Miss Universe because I don't know if you're aware but Esther Swan has officially resigned from her position as a talent manager at Miss Universe. And I know that for a lot of people this might come as a surprise but is it really? During her two decades of work at Miss Universe, Esther has been a key role player in making sure that the title holders are well taken care of. She's responsible for public appearances, scheduling, and just the overall well-being of whoever is crowned as Miss Universe. So it is safe to say that Esther is a very important team member at Miss Universe. Over the years, she gained a little bit of a fan base because of her relationship with all of the title holders, especially being such an important motherly figure for them when they were going through that year of being a Miss Universe that can be so confusing and so demanding at times. A lot of you got to know her actually during the year when Pia won because of all of the challenges that Pia had to overcome during her reign and how Esther was always there for Pia during every single step of the reign. But now let's be honest, ever since Miss Universe was acquired by JKN Group, the fandom has been talking about the shift in values and behaviors of the Miss Universe organization. This is something that all of us felt at some point. There are major differences in the ways that Miss Universe was handled by IMG to now JKN. But you know, just because of an organizational change, it doesn't mean that suddenly all of the employees are going to change as well. I mean, the likes of Paula Sugar, Amy Enrich, and now Esther Swan were still with the organization. And yes, of course, they have been adding new members to the staff in different locations, but it doesn't mean that they lost the previous employees that they already had from previous years. And I believe that these figures were really important for the fandom, especially to know that although there were many changes happening at Miss Universe, they will still ground the organization in a way that, of course, they're looking to the future while also preserving its essence. So I'm not gonna lie, this morning when I woke up and I saw the news about Esther officially resigning from Miss Universe, I felt a little bit sad because we've been talking about this for a while and I was hoping that it was not actually going to happen. Over the past few months, there have been so many speculation about Anne wanting to let go all of these like legacy employees that in a way remind the organization of previous years or previous management, previous ideas, values, you name it. But we knew that making such a bold move would really upset the fandom as well. So I thought that maybe Anne was gonna find new roles to give them that wouldn't get in the way of her vision, but still she wouldn't let them go so easily. Because I think that we can all agree that these employees still remind the current organization of previous Miss Universe eras. Now, what's really more alarming is the way that Esther decided to go out with her resignation. And this is because according to the pageant pages, Esther Swan presented her resignation all by herself, following rumors that some of the employees will be let go. So allegedly, instead of waiting for the management to dismiss her, she decided to resign herself and leave with her head held high. But now, of course, we know how everything works on social media. Sometimes we have a little rumor and pageant pages run away with it and make a big deal out of it. So, of course, I was not just going to make an entire video about this without going and double checking my sources. So I actually went to Esther Swan's Instagram page to see if she announced anything herself. Because anyways, where is this information coming from? There is no official announcement from Esther. However, she did post a story which is kind of revealing, especially if you're a visual person. Sometimes all you need is one image to say 1000 words. She posted an avatar of herself dropping a mic. So I'm really curious to find out what does this mean to you? For me personally, this is that she decided to go out with a bank, saying her truth, sticking to herself, and perhaps living in her own terms. We can maybe assume that she did not want to adhere any longer to the way that things are being handled at Miss Universe, especially considering that on the new management, she has little to no say in the way that things function, the way that things are handled, or she doesn't have any power of decision really when it comes to the values and the things that are put out by Miss Universe. So it would absolutely make sense for you to want to distance yourself from something that doesn't fit anymore the vision that you have of your workplace, right? But of course, I wouldn't just make a video about this topic. The reason why I decided to sit down and make this video is because I think this is part of a bigger conversation. One question still remains for me. Does this mean that the likes of Paula Sugar and Amy Enrich might be in danger? And what do you think that the resignation or even worse, the dismissal of these legacy figures within the organization would mean for the future of Miss Universe. Sadly, I would not be surprised if I see them go in the upcoming months, especially for Paula, who has been with Miss Universe for such a long time. Through different eras, she has always remained true to her cause, to her purpose, her commitment to the organization. To see someone that cares so much, not only for the pageant, the values, but also for the candidates and the title holders, 
it is truly a major loss for the organization. The biggest question right here is, what will the Miss Universe organization look like? Once these anchoring figures are no longer there to attach the image and the brand of the Miss Universe organization to what it used to be before, do you think that this is a step in the right direction, embracing a new generation? Do you think that we can blame Anne for all of these changes? I mean, of course, she's the owner of the organization, but she's not necessarily the one running every single aspect of the organization. So to what extent do you put the blame on her? I'm just really curious to find out how do you guys feel about this type of changes. In all scenarios, Esther Swan has officially presented her resignation from the Miss Universe organization. She will still work with Miss Universe until late May this year, and then after that, she will move on to new projects. In all cases, I will be reading you in the comment section down below. Let me know how do you feel, answer some of my questions, and if there are any other topics that you would like me to highlight or talk about, please, by all means, let me know as well. If you want more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be part of the conversation. And I will see you on the next one with another video. Take care, stay safe, and be kind to one another.